Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Melina Ghost in case you're new here and this is another video around a brand review of a reusable nappy. So I can't believe I've been doing it for like three months now. So every Monday there's a new video out that reviews a specific brand and type of nappy as well. So from Bambino Mio to Littles and Blooms and many many more. So this week and this particular video is a around Babamboo, which you should know about because you clicked on that title, so you are here for a reason. And I hope to give you all of the meaty information that you need. So the kind of stuff that I go through is usually quality, material, sizing, absorbency, and I always look at how I wash it and how easy it is to dry. So hopefully, if you are still interested and you are still here, please do give me a like, do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and let's get to it. So let's get to the basics. Firstly, Baba and Boo is by another stay-at-home mum, which is awesome, and she became a businesswoman accidentally. I absolutely loved reading her blog and like information on her website, which was, you can tell that she put a lot of effort and a lot of herself into those words. And basically to find out that she does manufacture um, her, um, cloth nappies in China but she actually took a lot of care to find out about the factories and make sure that it is done really like in a sustainable and a, an ethical way so the other thing that I was going to mention is the fact that I read that she like the company gives to charities they buy trees and I love the fact that actually they associate themselves with orphanage so orphanages so they're offering money towards that and like sponsorships towards those kinds of things which is so important and actually gives back to the community which I absolutely love so if that isn't a great reason to put your money uh, into a brand that actually does all those things then I don't know what is so apart from the fact that it's um, made in China it is a UK brand so uh, this stay at home uh, mum I think it's Evie or Eve um, she is a UK person so although it's in Britain though I do believe she ships worldwide so this is a pocket nappy which means that there is a pocket opening at the back. Um, there is sometimes openings on both sides but I'm happy to see that actually this pocket nappy only has one opening which means that you can add inserts whatever they may be from microfiber to bamboo and hemp right um, in so it slips in and if you've got a boy like I do I love to stuff it really well at the front because that's where he wheezed the most. So because it doesn't have two openings or a popper system, um, it doesn't basically slide out, which is great, and that's what you want, certainly what I want and what I look for in a nappy. So this pocket nappy comes with a an insert that is a mix of material, so mostly bamboo with a mix of microfiber as well. So it's a very good mix to have that something that's quick and easy to dry and something that's also absorbent. So when it comes to that natural materials bamboo, that's really good to actually soak up all the wetness and actually the microfiber helps it dry quite quickly so I found it dries very well so pretty much like some of my other ones um, not as quickly as just the microfiber ones and not as long as my just pure bamboo and hemp ones in terms of the popper system if you've seen my channel and my reviews before you know that I love to rant about the popper system and this one is absolutely fine i am very happy with the popper system it's very easy to clip on and off and also i like the fact that it has extra reinforcement uh, poppers on the sides as well because i find that my baby boy is now trying to like pick at them i'm pretty sure that he did unsnap it the other day but luckily because there's a reinforcement popper it means that actually the nappy won't come apart straight away that i can like pop it back in before he actually tries and 
take it off completely. The other thing that I noticed about this nappy is that it has something that I think is called leg gusset. So they've got like that, like those sides in the nappy itself so that it prevents leakages on the sides. So actually I am very happy with those and I like the fact that it adds to the frame or rather like makes it, gives it more of a shape when you put it onto the baby. So this pocket nappy also has like a fleece lining inside. It's very fleecy, which means that actually you don't have to have like a liner in between um, the nappy and the baby body and that it stays dry and it also is very soft on the skin, which is awesome. But the only thing that I have mentioned previously on other nappies and I'm gonna mention it on this one is the fact that actually I feel because it's like a very thick material like fleecy it's warm I do think that it might be a winter nappy or a winter nappy yes I know some of you said that it's absolutely fine for the summer too and I'm looking forward to trying those out in the summer I'm sure I will do but because it's such a thick material I'm just wondering whether it's actually perfect for the winter because actually it keeps the baby's bottom very warm it also has the usual proper system it's a birth to potty nappy but I can't say what it's like for a newborn uh, because I haven't tried it um, for when he was younger unfortunately um, but I must say that I do feel like it will last us until he is potty trained because they do come up really nicely on the sides. So a pretty standard pocket nappy. I like the fact that it's got very nice prints, it's got great fleece like I've mentioned inside and it has actually a, an insert that is um, of a natural material as well as that microfiber which I know a lot of like the cheaper brands actually don't. So I hear you ask about prices. In the UK, this nappy costs £16.50, so that will be the pocket nappy and one insert. So I wouldn't say that it's the cheapest brand, I'd say it's like that mid-range, but because you get that insert that's actually a little bit of a better quality, I'm not surprised that that's the price of it, and actually I think it's worth it. So let me talk about my washing and drying system. So um, I like to wash it at 40 degrees, but sometimes here and there, whether it's uh, by an accident or recently I've started to do 60 degrees just to make sure uh, I get rid of like the stainage and the smells and things like that by uh, washing it at 60 which means that actually some nappies do recommend that you don't wash it at 60 that's usually 40 degrees and in this case I have washed it at 40 degrees but the label actually says that you can wash it at 60 which is cool but nonetheless, I haven't seen any stainage even at 40 degrees, so that's great. And when I do wash it at a very high temperature, I haven't seen it disintegrate or lose its elasticity. I have actually mentioned drying quite quickly to you already, but in terms of the pocket nappy, I love, love, love pocket nappies because they're so quick to dry and this one is no different. You pop it onto the washing line and actually I found that like less than 24 hours, it's already dry and ready to be used but I've mentioned to you about the insert that it's not as quick as my microfiber inserts and at the same time it's not as long as my like bamboo or bamboo and hemp ones because it's like that mix of both so I wouldn't say there's anything special about this nappy apart from basically the fact that the fleece lining inside is really lovely and soft Apart from that, it's a pretty standard pocket nappy with a good enough insert that will really do the job. And I guess the insert actually will last you a couple of hours, which is a great in-betweener, especially if you know, as I do, I know the schedule that my baby takes. So he's 11 months old, which means that I know when he's about to poo, which is usually in the morning, straight after we get up. And then usually he doesn't end up pooing too much after that so I know how long 
or how often I'll need to change the reusable nappies. So what I do is actually know when to give what nappies at what stage, which is cool, but that is a completely different video, which I'm sure I'll do a video on very soon. But actually, if you are interested, please do comment down below so that I can elaborate on that a little bit more and know whether you are interested in a video that looks at my whole collection and how I use it at what point during the day and things like that, rather than what I'm doing now, which is brand reviews specifically. But don't worry, the brand reviews are not going away anywhere. I've got so many to actually talk about um, coming up in the coming weeks. And also I can't wait to do the nighttime nappy one, but I'm kind of worried actually that I've got too much to say that I'll have to break it up. But anyway, um, enough about that and I'm looking forward to sharing that with you in the coming weeks. Anyway, I hope that this review was really useful to you because it looked at quality, it looked at sizing, it looked at absorbency, it looked at washing and drying routines as well. So if there's any other questions and you'd love to find out more, please do let me know in the comments below. Also, thank you so much for watching and until next week. Bye.